um i'm super excited to welcome you back to my channel um today we have a very simple geometry question yes trust me it's very simple but this will actually become difficult for you if you don't know the right theorem to apply or the right step to take but let's do it together anyway like i said it is a very simple one now this is not drawn to scale all right and in this question we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion yes now this shaded portion this is a rectangle all right now we have another rectangle here and the area of that space is 80. we have another rectangle here but inside this rectangle we have a triangle we have another triangle we have another triangle here there's another triangle and this is another triangle so where do we go from here like i said we need to read the mind of this examiner why on earth did you give us area of the rectangle it doesn't really make sense but it makes sense as well now let us remember that the two triangles formed by the diagonal of a rectangle are congruent two triangles formed by the diagonal of a rectangle are congruent what this means is if this the area of this space is a let's say capital a the area of this space is also capital a now some of you complain that you don't really understand my accent so permit me to write what i said because this is the main thing we are going to use to find the value of the shaded portion okay so what i wrote here is the two triangles two triangles formed by the diagonal by the diagonal of a rectangle are congruent all right that is all i said for those that were not able to understand my accent so this is it so it means if they are congruent then their areas are equal okay that is just it so this is exactly what we are going to use to find the value of the shaded portion the area of the shaded portion so we have this as a rectangle as well okay so first let's call this a b c and d so in this particular portion you can see that we have a rectangle and we have a diagonal so if we call this part x that is the area of that part x then definitely the area of this part is also x now similarly if we drop a parallel line to this point let's drop this parallel line like this okay you will notice that we also have two triangles formed and using the theorem that i just explained if the area of this side is y the area of this side will also be y right okay now also you can see that this place is another rectangle now it means that the area of this portion should be equal to the area of this portion so if we call this z then the area of this portion is also z now where am i driving at <laughs> let's go straight to the point all right i want you to note remember that db is the diagonal of this rectangle before i go further please hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell if you are joining us for the first time this will enable the youtube to youtube to always 
enlighten you or notify you yes to always notify you anytime we upload a new video okay so ensure you on your notification bell then give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing if you are a returning viewer thank you so much i appreciate your support thank you all right so let us continue now at this point remember that db is diagonal as well db is a diagonal so what does that tell us it simply means that the area of the whole of this triangle it means that the area of triangle a d b will be equal to the area of triangle d b c right using our theorem Now, area of triangle ADB is Z plus Y plus Y plus X. Okay? And this should be equal to this part, which is area of this side is z plus a t plus x okay now if we transfer everything to the other side we are going to have first this will give us z plus y plus y is 2y plus x is equal to z plus a t plus x all right now if we transfer everything to the other side and leave to y okay you remember that we are looking for the area of the shaded portion which happens to be y right so if we leave to y it should be equal to z plus a t plus x then we subtract z right and we subtract x as well so we have 2y is equal to z minus z is 0 x minus x is 0 so we have 2y is equal to 80 so we divide both sides by 2 and we have that y is equal to 40 square units and that is the answer thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye